Well, here we are. We are set for the fifth season of the Inter 2003 True Value International Race of Champions Series IROC 5. It's the uh, object. It's the series where you. It's the series where you take twelve of the finest in our 2003 champions, put them in, put them in twelve equally matched 1987 Chevy Camaros, match them up. E you know, the cars were made. It's identically prepared as one can, as man can make them. Hmm. Match them up. Put them on four separate race tracks. Tally up the points, and at the end of the day, whoever. <laughs> at the end of the season, determine the champion of the uh, of the international race of champions. And it's from any of our Trust and Three series. <sighs> yeah. And we have our 12 of the best in our Trust and Three going at it for four on four tracks, four different race tracks this season for I Rock 5. Get, sorry, I can't even talk. So. And so here we are for race number one, which is held at Daytona International Speedway. Nighttime racing at Daytona. This season for 20 laps of action. And here is your starting lap for today's running of IROC 5, race number one at Daytona. And there you saw the starting lineup for today's running of the, of the event here at Daytona National Speedway. The points is distributed, of course. Uh, you get 12 points for winning the race here at, at, in, for winning a race, plus a point for a race, plus one point for a race win, by the way. Uh, and then 11 points for second, 10 points for third, and so on down the line. That's how the IROC points are for this season. And here comes the command to fire them up here at Daytona. Drivers, start your engines! Man, give the Vardy engines, and here we go. And the point, the starting lineup here today, as you noticed in the starting grid, the starting lineup is determined by alphabetical order by your first name here at Daytona. For a race two at Talladega, it'll be by the reverse of the finishing order of today's event at Daytona. No. And which will be last place finisher starts pole, and if you win the race, well, you pay a little bit of a penalty. You start last at Talladega, so and to make things a bit uh, challenging, I guess you might say. Then Michigan race number three will be by alphabetical order by your last name. So, and then of course Indianapolis the season finale will be by by uh, by your points by where you're at in points, and last place in the points starts pole for Indianapolis. So that's how it is. So here we go, the field uh, with the pace car coming out of corner number four on the pit road. The field being led in the hands of the pole sitter Anthony McCurry in the red car. Green flag in the air, we're underway. Boogity, boogity, boogity! And jumping out of front is Anthony McCurry in the red car as he jumps out of, as he. Leads the field here at Daytona, and right behind him in second is the yellow car, Chris Darton. And then behind him in the blue car, the powder blue car, Jeannie Samper, going in the third position now. Samper, the champion of the INRLL Lowe's Nationwide Series, series she's representing here. The car's already at the 180 miles an hour off in the third turn now. These cars identically identically prepared. 1987 Chevy Camaro body cars. And look very good on the racetrack here as Anthony McCurry will lead the first lap of the event. McCurry, one of the regulars of the Internet CRS, one of the series he's representing here today at Daytona. In the, in the IROC, this is, this is his first ever nationwide series. This is his first ever IROC series, I should say, excuse me. 
And G. Sanford's another IROC rookie. So is Joshua Collard. And here he comes on the inside of Sanford for the number two position now. Collard in the purple car. Representing the Castle Edge Nationwide Series as well as another series. Forgot now what it was, but. So Joshua Collard, one of the ones representing two series here in the IROC this season. But right now, chasing Anthony McCurry in the red cars. He takes, as he has the lead right now, the black car behind Timmy Pacioli in his second IROC series. Goes for the number two position now. He's in the black car. Right behind him, the white car of William Duncan. He's in his first IROC series. He's up in the third position. That white car won this, won this race at Daytona last season with Trent Dunham behind the wheel. And here comes Timmy Pacioli on the inside of Anthony McCurry as he takes the lead now here at Daytona with William Duncan going to second position now. Third, try, or trying for third in that, red, in that great in that silver car. Another IROC rookie, Sean Galligan. And he's a, comes in as the, he represents the NSCRA Mobile One Cup Series, which he was a Season 5 champion in that series, clinching it at the season finale at Zen Joltis. And now Galligan goes into second place now, here passing William Duncan as he. Um, Duncan now caught up in the high side, and up in the high side, and on the low side, in that dark blue car in his first IROC series is Johnny Gardner from the Casual GTX Cup Series for season eight. And now here comes Sean Galligan for the lead in the silver car. And he'll take the lead here at, here in, here at IROC, race number one at Daytona. Here in this fifth season of IROC, as we now complete four laps into the event, 16 laps to go here in race number one of the IROC. Cut behind in the paint cars is another IROC rookie, Mason Wood, representing the, I think, one of the truck series. I'm not sure, I forgot now what it was, but. And right behind him in that line green car, another IROC. And a lot of IROC rookies in this field. And another one in that line green car, Chris Kyle from the Mountain Dew Code Red Truck Series from here. That's one of Trent Dunham's mini series. He runs. And Chris Kyle making the most of his first IROC start, running second place right now in the line green car. Running right behind the silver car, Sean Galligan, who leads the race here today at Daytona. And that orange car in her second IROC series, the defending IROC champion, Cheyenne Kloss, won the championship in uh, dramatic fashion last season at Indianapolis. And she won the Truck Series, she represents the Traxxas Truck Series for the second season in a row, by the way. That's what she was representing last season in IROC. Cheyenne in the orange car, now being passed by the, by the crane car of Ryan Acosta, who represents the DeWalt Cup Series from uh, Charles Jackson. Excuse me. And now Chris Kyle goes to the lead, but here comes Ryan Acosta in the, in the green car. Dipping the load to the inside. Kyle, Chris Kyle in the lime green car on the outside. Lap speed to Daytona over 195 miles per hour. Out of these IROC cars, these 1987 Camaros has given us some great racing on the super speedways, no problem. And there for a while they tried the road courses and they gave us single fall racing, so... Now the yellow car goes inside, that's Chris Dorton. He dives inside with the help of that white car of William Duncan. And Dalton leads the lap here at Daytona. On board, Chris Dalton's car. This is what's like the, what the fans like, the car likes, the likes to see at Daytona. Nothing out in front of him. Bumper cam. You're looking at William Duncan in a white car and the cream car of Ryan Acosta. And now Duncan dives inside for the lead. Some tremendous onboard pictures 
from inside and behind the car as Duncan now takes the lead with the help of Jeannie Sanford in a powder blue car on the inside for second place. Joshua Collar trying for third in a purple car. Last lap by 193.665 miles an hour. 355 cubic inch Chevrolet engines. Developing about 490 horsepower and about and about 7,000 RPMs. They really wind up on these track on tracks like Daytona. Now here comes Jeannie Samper on the inside, and she's got the lead away from Gwen Duncan. And in the second now goes Joshua Collard from the Cash Legend Nationwide Series. He goes in the second place now. And inside of the blue car goes Johnny Gardner from the Castle GTS Cup Series. He takes the lead now. Right behind him goes the red car of our pole sitter, Anthony McCurry. Now to give you an idea how many rookies we have in IROC this season, only one driver returned from last season, and that is Cheyenne Kloss. Only one, that's the only driver who's returned this season, actually, she's one of actually only two IROC rookies. As a matter of fact, the other is the um, black car, Timmy Patchell. He was in his first. He was in the first IROC season. So really, two nine rookies in IROC out of the twelve in the field. And right now, one of them, Anthony McCurry in the red car, goes back to the lead now over Jeannie Sanfer. Way home now. Ten laps in the books. Ten laps to go. Getting down to the nitty gritty here at Daytona. And the chips are down here as Anthony McCurry leads. In the second now goes Timmy Pacioli in the black car. Cheyenne Kloss, the orange car, now going in the third. Nine laps to go. Inside goes Pacioli in the black car. Now being getting help from Cheyenne Kloss and Chris Thornton and Sean Galligan now as the train forms on the inside, shoving Anthony McCurry on the air out of there, hung out the dry. Three wide for the fourth position now. Ryan Acosta goes inside of Anthony McCurry and Sean Galligan, and now it's Acosta the Ford in the cream colored car. All 12 still running together here at Daytona. We expect to say the same thing for race two at Talladega. Eight laps remaining here in round number one of the International Race of Champions. Here comes Dalton on the inside for second. He's got the great, he's got the line green car, Chris Kyle from the Mountain Dew Co Red Truck Series. He goes into third place now. William Duncan in fourth in the white car, shoving Cheyenne Kloss on the high side in, in the orange car. Gonna be a wild scramble to the finish here at Daytona. And now you see already Timmy Pacciola has gone out to a big lead. But that's trouble because the draft line forms. Because the draft line forming is quicker than the car running by yourself here on the plate tracks. Joshua Collard's car. You see that 
tachometer just not moving, stuck at about, well, I said 7,000 RPMs earlier. It's, it's actually more about 6,500 RPMs on these cars. William Duncan tried to make a three wide, but decides to think better of it as he now shoves Chris Kyle to the lead. So it's Chris Kyle the lead now. William Duncan the second. Johnny Gardner trying for third. Five laps to go here at Daytona. Don't pencil in your winner yet. This first round of the International Racing Champion is still up for grabs. William Duncan making a move on the inside of Chris Kyle for, for the lead. He's got the paint car of Mason Wood shoving him. <laughs> Trying to get themselves into position for that big final lap shootout. And right now they're coming down for four laps to go. Mason Wood for the lead with the help of Jeannie Sanfer. Sanford's car, you're looking right at the orange car of Cheyenne Kloss. Jeannie and, and, Jeannie and Cheyenne, two, both, they're the only two ladies in the field here in the I Rock this season. And now you're on board inside Jeannie's car as, he, as she takes the lead. In fact, Jeannie did lead the lap the last time by. Three laps to go at Daytona. In this part of the race, it's any man or woman for him, for his or herself. Sanford out in front. Cheyenne Claus is second. Third now, Chris Dalton. In the yellow car. And now with the help of the silver car, Sean Galligan. These four may be out, maybe ready to settle it up for themselves now. Two laps to go at Daytona in round number one of the International Wrestling Champions. Like I said, a new system this season, you earn one point for a race win in addition to the 12 points you earn for first place. Backstretch, here comes Cheyenne Kloss with the help of Chris Darton. The stars are making three wide in the third turn. Instead, Sean Gallagher goes up high now. And Timmy Pacioli, he now goes in the, he's now slickers in both. He goes in the, tries for third spot now. Gallagher and Acosta, both up high. Now. Man, 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 mistake. The white flag weighs one up remaining for Cheyenne Kloss. Can she hold off this field at Daytona? But not if Chris darton has got anything to say about that. He and Timmy Pacioli. Dalton in the yellow car, Pacioli in the black car, Kloss driving the orange car. Backstretch, what are you going to do? Does Dalton in the yellow car make the move? No, he does not. Cheyenne Kloss keeping the lead. Up in the third turn, now they come. And here they come out corner number four. Checker flag getting set to fly here in the International Race of Champions. Dalton showing no action now. Round number one of the I Rocket Daytona goes to Cheyenne Claw. She wins at Daytona. <laughs> Tremendous racing here today at Daytona. Cheyenne Claw, her first win in I Rock this season. And maybe in March for her second consecutive I Rock championship. And here's your finishing order here in, this, here in the IROC. Average speed, 192.371 miles an hour. Let's 
So Cheyenne Claus wins here today. Chris Dorton was second. Timmy Pacioli comes home third. Joshua Collard fourth. Jeannie Sanford fifth. Sixth was Mason Woods. Sean Galligan seventh. Eighth, Johnny Gardner. Ninth was Ryan Acosta. Anthony McCurry comes home tenth. Eleventh was William Duncan. And twelfth, last place was Chris Kyle. So Chris Kyle start pole for the for a race two at Talladega. Congratulations to our winner, Cheyenne Kloss, and here are your points after race number one at Daytona.